Well, hello there. Thank you for joining me tonight. We're going to have an energy channel healing. And um, this is going to help you actually clean out your chakras because our energy channels run through all of our major chakras and through most of our minor chakras. So it's really important that we keep our energy channels flowing. And um, I'm very excited to do this healing tonight. Um, I think I'm just going to jump right in and set the energy for it with a prayer. As we cleanse and heal the temple of the soul, may it be with the blessing of divinity that it shine its countenance upon us and bring us peace in body, mind, and spirit. Amen. All right. I'm going to be working on a composite of everybody in the sanctuary, and I'll be talking to you as if it's one-on-one -on -one because I'm working off of matching pictures so that everybody has a little bit of something that I'm looking at tonight. All right. Going to get started. And the first thing I'm going to do um, after grounding you is get get the energy moving in your crown chakra. And to help me make it easier for me, I'm going to be using gold because that illuminates where dark energy is. It's a lot easier for me to see what's going on if I start out by using gold. So that's what that's what you're getting tonight is a bunch of gold. So I'm running it in your crown chakra right now. And some of the things I see flying out of there are anger and beings, of course, beings that don't have bodies. This might take a moment. And now a lot of unconscious energy is coming out of the crown. That's a white energy. And as you know, that sits on top of pain. So you know what's coming next. <laughs> We're getting down to the darker colors. A lot of energy of disagreements coming out of the crown. Yeah, and a lot of like what I would call weighty energy, very heavy. Um, it's making it's making you serious. Good. I like what I'm seeing. Um, the gold is starting to circulate in the crown and it's really getting it moving. The, your crown chakra is a little uh, sluggish. And so that is speeding up right now. It was a little sluggish and a little lumpy. And now it's starting to get spinning faster. And I also see a, a nice clean out going on in your telepathic channels. Um, so the energy is already running down your back channels. I'm going to follow that now. So as it goes, as the energy channels pass through your sixth chakra, that's the one right here in the center of your head, there's a lot of dark stuff in there that I'm going to work on helping you clean out.
That's interesting. I'm finding a lot of um, stubborn energy coming out of the center of the head. Also, there's a lot of worry coming out of the center of the head. Lots of worry. That's a white energy. There's also some unconscious energy coming out of the center of your head. This is a good clearing right now because I can already see space being created in the center of your head. You have some cords going into your sixth chakra. Um, those are lines of energy coming from other people. Let's take those out. Also, you know, other people will cord you in your six chakra or your crown chakra um, to look at your information. All right, that's nice. I'm going to move on down to your fifth chakra and your throat. There's a lot of green coming out of the throat chakra. And it's kind of a weird green. It's like backed up communication, old communication that never got said. So there's a lot of that coming out right now. And a lot of frustration coming out of the communication space. And the other thing I notice in the communication space is so much noise, like telepathic noise. Um, I'm working with you to calm that down. Now there are um, a lot of people coming out of your fifth chakra. That's I'm still on your throat chakra. That's your fifth. This is anyone you can think of. Bosses, coworkers, family, friends. People are just flying out of the throat chakra right now. And there's some conflict coming out of there, too. But a beautiful peachy gold is coming into the fifth chakra. And there's a lot of information uh, uh, like about your higher wisdom in that peachy gold coming in.
And now moving down the back channels, the heart chakra is next. And there is some dark energy here in the heart chakra. There are some, some pain pictures that are lit up that vibrate at something pretty close to black. <laughs> so I'm going to work with you now to see if we can release some of the charge off of those pictures and loosen and lighten them up for you. It's interesting, there's a um, there's something funny going on in that space where um, some of you are lit up because you don't have enough space if you're living in a household with people um, that are staying home. And some of you are lit up because um, you have too much space and you are fairly isolated. So there's a real dichotomy going on in there that needs to be cleaned out. Oh, good. Good job. Um, that energy, that clump of energy is releasing from your heart chakra. I just had to tickle it long enough. <laughs> but you did a good job. It's releasing. And that really helped pick the spin up on your heart chakra. And that's filling in with gold. So I'm gonna move down to the third chakra. That's the one in your solar plexus. And that chakra is where you store your willpower. And it's also the chakra that um, distributes your energy. And as that energy passes through your third chakra, the first thing I notice is how many people want your energy from your third chakra. And they want it to create things for themselves. Uh, there's so much attention and demand energy on your third chakra. That's nice, you're doing a really good job. Lots of gold is coming in there. And there is like an overall gray coming out of the aura from that third chakra. And there are a lot of concerns about time in the third chakra. Um, too much time, not enough time. And in general, I see you just slightly out in um, future time from present time. So I'm just gonna move you right back into present time.
and the things that would kick you out of your body and make you want to be in future time would be um, too much pain in the body or too much conflict going on. So there's a lot of different reasons why you're out in future time. And it was just slightly, so it wasn't too bad. And now moving down to your second chakra, that's where you store your emotional and sexual information. Um, interestingly, there's a lot of fatigue in this chakra, a lot of white fatigue. And a lot of emotions are coming out now. So this is a really good release for you. Like, like low level emotions, um, pain, depression, things like that. And, you know, as that energy is leaving, what I'm watching come back into that space is very lighthearted, um, an energy that's very light and playful and um, youthful. That's what's coming back into that, into that chakra, the second chakra. All right, now into the first chakra, that is your survival chakra. There are a couple of beings hanging on and family members, friends. So this is a chakra where there are a lot of people hanging out, <laughs> either grounding through you or just plain old hanging out. Let's, let's uh, give them a healing. Also a lot of chords in this first chakra. Good job. And it's running up your front channels very well, very easily. So it's like all the heavy duty lifting was in the back channels. All right, now while that's running, I'm going to work on your leg channels and help you pull up some earth energy. And we wanna we want to go way deep down into the earth for our earth energy so that it's clean. Now, in the left leg, the energy channel is broken up a little bit above the knee. So that channel should be like a tube going from the bottom of your foot all the way up the middle of your leg into uh, your first chakra. And it, it was broken up, so I'm just watching you repair that. And the way that I do that, just so you know, so that if you are looking at yourself on your screen and you see your energy channels broken up, all I'm doing is laying a picture of a 
complete whole energy channel in in that place where it's supposed to be like a tube and then what happens is because i just did that and watched watched you like recreate that out of your own energy and replace the channel in your space so that was cool And it's cleaning out some pretty dark energy below the left knee and the the space between the left knee and the left foot. That energy below the left knee and the foot is actually energy that you pick up from like walking on the streets. That's energy that just gets absorbed um, into the lower part of your body. We're going to ground that now. Now I'm going to work on your other leg channel. This is great. You already got the idea of correcting your channel. This is what's so wonderful about energy work. You can show um, someone something and then you get that information and then you go and correct wherever else in your space they were off. So that was really good. So your the leg channel that I'm working on right now is actually your right leg channel. I might have told you the wrong one before, but um, I'm working on your right leg channel and that one is continuous all the way up to the first chakra. So there's nothing uh, broken up about that that's in good shape. And the color of earth energy that I see you bringing up is a green, like a really pretty um, deep Kelly green. And again, that uh, although the channel is um, continuous, the channel on your right leg above your right knee is a little, it's, it's sluggish. It's not broken up, but it's sluggish. So when you run energy up your legs, um, remember to bring it all the way up the thighs and into the first chakra. Good. All right, that looks good for the leg channels. Now we're gonna go on to the creative channels in your arms. So those branch out at your throat chakra and go inside across, like on the inside of your shoulders and then down and out your arms and your hand chakras. I'm going to work on your right ones first, your right arm. Yeah, that you have a chakra in your shoulder and that's what I'm going to work on because the energy is flowing very well from your fifth chakra to the shoulder and then it kind of breaks up so that shoulder chakra needs a little um, cleansing there. You would be shocked if you saw what I'm looking at. <laughs> like what is in the shoulder chakra? It's unbelievable. There are beings, snakes. Um, who knew? Who knew? So I'm, <laughs> I'm cleaning this out.
it goes. And now it's like um, flowing really quickly. So it's like truly flushing out that right channel. That's what we want. I'm going to work on the left channel now. Um, the shoulder chakra is doing much better on the left, on, let's see, that would be your left side. Um, but what's interesting on the left side is that the channel breaks up after the chakra. So I'm going to, again, show you a picture of a, a whole channel from the fifth chakra all the way out to your hand chakra and watch you recreate that for yourself. There's some, some energy coming out of your channels that that is like hard work, like, <laughs> like this is hard work to clean them out. And of course, this, what we're doing tonight is not hard work, but some of you have a picture that running energy is hard work or effort. And I really want to help you clear that. Okay, just checking your overall space now, making sure everything's flowing. There's something a little lopsided in your crown that I want to correct. Good. And your whale spout, your fountain is coming up about two feet above your head. You might be able to feel that. I'm going to pull your aura in around you, kind of tuck it in under your feet. Some of you, your aura edge is the um, perimeter of your house. So reel it in, <laughs> bring it in around you, and we're going to ground it under your feet. Excuse me, I think that's my stomach making noise. All right, and I'm going to just give a hello to your um, communication line with Supreme Being. Okay, that looks great. I'm going to collect up your energy and fill you in.
You know what I just noticed when I was trying to fill you in was a little resistance to the golden suns. I want to um, give that a healing before I wrap up. This is what I would call a transmedium energy, which is really nothing more than the residue of beings that don't have bodies. So it's a lot of the energy of beings. Okay. All right, filling you in, gold sun. Your energy channels are running beautifully right now. So I hope you can um, feel what it feels like to have the energy running smoothly. They look really good. And remember, when you're running earth energy to really go down deep for that earth energy. Okay, you can open your eyes and come on out of trance. I'm just going to close out the healing and then I just have a few announcements. May it be with the blessing of divinity that this healing tonight on the energy channels be complete. Amen. All right, I just wanted to go over a couple of things with you, what's coming up. And the next time we're going to get together will be next Wednesday night, and that will be for a romance healing. Woohoo! <laughs> like I said, I have no idea what that's going to be, but it, it um, I was inspired to pick that as a topic. And then um, later on after that, or two days later, we have Female Fridays, and we're going to learn how to run our personal power. Then on the 24th, again, if you haven't heard about this, it's an erasure event. Do not miss it. I'm going to have my um, advanced healing students help me, and we're going to set up a bay of, of erasers. And what I mean by that is people erasing destroy energy. So anybody that comes to the sanctuary that night and is on the call will get the benefits of having all that destroy energy removed from their space. Can't beat that. It's free. I really wanted to open that space up for everyone because there's so much hatred and anger and conflict and destroy energy right now. I thought, what can we do? We can create a night to eliminate it for anybody that wants to join. So that's what I wanted to tell you about the 24th. And I think that's the last, that's the last event that I have planned for this month. So. I think those are all my announcements tonight. Um, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed your healing, and I look forward to seeing you again next Wednesday. Okay? All right. Bye, you guys. Have a great night.